four months ago, I took a photo on the way back from Wales from seeing my great aunt and my auntie that I just can't get out of my head. And it's this photo here. Drive carbon neutral. I pulled over on the 21st of February at 3.48 p.m., my iPhone reminds me, and I pulled into a Shell petrol station. I got a hybrid, but when you're doing long journeys, it's mainly petrol. And I looked down at my petrol pump, and this is like four months ago now, and I saw these in big letters, drive carbon neutral. If you guys have been following the channel, you'll know that I started asking a question last year, should we fly anymore? I think we made three videos on that journey, which led to some thinking around trees. And then Corona's gone mental. You're seeing these carbon stats changing dramatically. I think we're down, what are they saying, 10% this year, which is unprecedented because we've not been doing anything. We've been sitting in our houses using our laptops and we're reformatting how we think about work. And I bought three bicycles. <laughs> One bike I bought from the recycled shop. I put a blog in I wrote about the Dachon folding bike, 80 quid well spent. I gave my mate 200 quid to get an old rock hopper to uh, customize it. Well, he calls them burrito slayers, but I call it the cream cracker. And yeah, I've just been cycling around, barely using my car at all. And actually such short journeys that I'm barely getting off the electric. But I haven't been able to get this drive carbon neutral out of my head. We've then had Black Lives Matter. I've been doing this series of podcasts of new agreements where, I mean, you can see it here. It's still on my whiteboard. All these different people that have contributed thoughts on systems and how business relates to supply chains and blockchain and every kind of chain and i just can't help but think shell saying that go plus members can drive carbon neutral for a year that's not a small thing i mean look let me share my screen royal dutch shell 484 billion dollars a year so half a trillion dollars a year it's now present in 70 countries, oil and gas in exploration and production. If the biggest oil company in Europe and the number one company out of the UK is saying that all of their members can drive carbon neutral, that is no small thing. And so my feeling and why I'm making a video about it is that there's a lot of activism happening and a lot of passion and energy. But we also have to give credit where we see people actually making change, where we actually see the change occurring. If an oil company that is known for being extractive, generating more carbon in the sky, is saying that all of their members, their most prized customers, can drive carbon neutral for a year, that's huge. And that deserves, if it's true, it deserves credit. It creates lots of questions in me, okay, as you can imagine. And I want to be open-minded and rigorous with thinking about it and seeing what the answers are. And I've already done a bit of work, which is what I want to explore with you in these weekly videos and see what you guys come back with and see what things we can add together to get to the bottom of this. Because either this is an example of best practice that we want to see Shell roll out, not just for one year, but for all of their customers every year, and then use that to get the other oil companies and other massive companies, like the tech companies, to also adopt a similar neutral or net negative position with their businesses. Let me show you what Microsoft have said they'll do. Carbon negative by 2030 and remove all of their historic carbon emissions by 2050. So this marketing campaign, Drive Carbon Neutral, that's on the very pumps as we pump the petrol out. If you're in the UK, you can go to your local Shell garage. And I know because it's 400 meters from my house here. There's one a few hundred yards up from my parents' house. And they're all there, the flags and the petrol station. This is a nationwide campaign. You can go and check it out for yourself. If this stacks up, this is the beginning of the solution that we're looking for. And if it doesn't yet stack up, if there's questions that need answering, then hopefully here we can find a way to get those questions answered. So I've got three questions that I want to show you what I've been thinking about and then see what you've got on it as well. And we just go from there really and see whether there's any juice in this conversation. But 
it stuck with me so much that I think it makes sense to at least share, much like we did with the flying videos, and see where we get to. Or the three questions I had when I started lockdown. One, is drive carbon neutral the right language for what Shell are doing? What are they doing and is it the right language? The next question for me is, how much does that cost them and how can they afford to do that? If they can afford to do it, why can't everyone do it, etc. So what's the actual budget for that? And the third thing is, how do they actually deliver that? How do you actually make oil carbon neutral? And there are three quite different parts that I think we look at separately. So one is about the language, the second one is about the budget, and the third thing is about how it actually gets done. If you work at Shell or you know something about this, then please be in touch. I'd love to have the best information possible when we come to making the next videos. I'm just sitting here on Zoom with my phone having a look because I think sometimes we can get so addicted to just banging on the door for change that you don't actually look when someone answers. And if indeed this is the answer that we've been looking for, we need to double down on it. And if it's not the right answer, then we need to figure out what the right answer is and double down on that. This campaign runs till the end of September. Hopefully I can make three or four videos. You can give me some feedback. We can learn a little bit about what's going on. We'll see how it goes. We don't have time to be prejudiced, to be closed-minded, to be apathetic. We need to find the solutions that work and double down on them, triple down on them, 10 times down on them. If we get out of lockdown and everything gets busy again, we're just going to forget about this passion that we have with seeing the environment clear up and the rivers clear up and Mother Nature having a chance to breathe again. And we're just going to get busy trying to pay the bills again. I've got to be honest, I am a bit concerned about what will happen when the clocks go back at the end of October. We need something to believe in. We need a future that we are excited about that can get us through this next winter because it could be a very hard winter for a lot of people. I hope this makes sense. It's a bit of a ramble, but you've got to start somewhere. As I said, if you know about this stuff from the inside, if you're from Shell, give us a call. Maybe we can get some people on Zoom. It won't just be me. I'm open to whatever the right answer is, but let's find out what it means to drive carbon neutral. I'll see you guys next Thursday. 9 p.m.